everyone so I am back in Singapore and as you can see the background has changed and that means I've moved to Singapore I haven't moved to Singapore it's just that I'm back here for the three months break and then I'm back in Australia to finish my last semester in university and that's crazy because I still remember my first year at uni and I know that you a lot of you have requested me to do like a vlog on uni which I will do eventually but I kind of just want to save it for my last semester just because you know I would have gathered all my experience from uni and can tell you more so I thought in this video since it's so hot and humid in Singapore and I thought an appropriate video would be a tip video on how to keep your makeup staying and looking fresh in hot and humid weather because in hot and humid weather your makeup tends to slide especially if, if you have oily skin and it just can look really unattractive so I have got 10 tips to show you on what you can do to prevent makeup slipping and sliding in hot and humid weather of course these aren't foolproof because everyone's skin is different and basically the weather is different I don't know how the weather is like in your country number one is always wear a primer because a primer is a makeup product that helps your foundation stick onto your skin for longer and helps you to apply your foundation in the morning as well. So my favorite is the RMK Makeup Base and you want a primer that sort of is very watery, it's very liquidy because it goes on very smoothly. So if you take a primer that's super gloopy like the Smashbox Photo Finish or the Urban Decay Primer Perfection or something like that, it can sort of feel like you're clogging up your pores because your pores, your skin tends to open up in hot weather. If you have those really gloopy primers onto your skin and then you put your foundation on, it can feel a bit heavy throughout the day. So you want something that's very sort of light, very smooth, just like that, very, very liquidy and soft. So this one's my favorite. I'm wearing it now and it does help my foundation stay on longer. It's the RMK Makeup Base. It's a Japanese product. You can find this in Japanese apartment stores, I think. The second thing is to keep blotting sheets handy. Now you don't really have to go out and buy blotting sheets but always blot because in Singapore you know it's hot and humid and if you have oily skin like I do you definitely want to blot your skin now you don't have to go buy you know your Biore or Johnson's and Johnson's blotting sheets you can actually just get like a paper towel or like toilet paper from the bathroom anything like that of course no one has used it before anything just fold it up and then pat your skin with it it works just like a charm just work, works like a blotting sheet and then you can go on to uh, retouch your makeup always blot before you retouch your makeup just to take any of the like residue do off or like the oil off and things like that always blot that is always you know a good thing to do number three is to wear a lighter foundation now a lot of people need to stay away from foundations like the Revlon color stay or really heavy foundations like the Maybelline dream matte mousse are very very heavy foundations and although they make you look absolutely flawless during the day you definitely want to stay away from them because in hot and humid weather those foundations tend to slide more often or clog your pores more often they just feel heavier than normal foundations and I always suggest using mineral foundations in hot and humid weather so this is my favorite this is the Elizabeth Arden pure finish mineral powder foundation and I've been using this, this is my third one I think and it comes with like a grinder just like this and then you kind of grind it out like that and then use your brush to just buff the foundation onto your skin. I think mineral foundations are great because they do they do give you a bit of coverage but they're very light feeling. It just feels like you're not wearing anything. So make sure you wear a lighter feeling foundation. Number four, don't be afraid of the glow. So a lot of people in Singapore tend to you know pack as much powder on their face as possible or try to be as mad as possible I think the best way to go is to not be as mad as possible but instead try to embrace the glow because you're gonna be glowing anyway in hot and humid weather once you start sweating I'm glowing right now because it's hot you can't really fight it even though you put the you know press so much powder into your face it's just not gonna work out just embrace the glow start stop trying to be matte when you're supposed to be glowing and vice versa so embrace your skin type and you will be on the road to you know better skin play with lighter colors a lot of people tend to you know wear you know might, might wear some dark, really dark lipstick or a really dark heavy blush or anything like that try to keep those for winter so go with like lighter light pink blushes or a lighter lip gloss or things like that so play with lighter colors and that will sort of match the seasons just definitely look better number six is go waterproof so look at waterproof eyeliners look at waterproof mascara this is kind of common sense you're probably the first thing that you think about you want to look good in hot and humid weather so it's like one of the first things and I really like the CoverGirl Lash Blast waterproof mascara you definitely want to try that out three eyeliners that I like for my highlight line and waterline because those tend to slip and slide a lot 
faster. I really like the CoverGirl Liquid Line Glass, the MAC Technical in Graph Black, and the Sports School Draw the Line Liner. I think those three liners are the best for my waterline and tight line, especially in this weather, because of a lot of eyeliners tend to slip and slide. Number seven is don't forget your sunscreen, because of obviously it's hot, obviously it's sunny, so you definitely don't want to forget your sunscreen and make sure that you have it on before you put on your makeup and make sure that it stays. It's a good SPF as well. Number eight, remember that foundations oxidize. So basically your face, your foundation, when it oxidizes, it turns a darker color and actually does this a lot faster in hot and humid weather. So you definitely want to look at foundations. Don't go too dark. Maybe go maybe a sage lighter if you know that the foundation does oxidize. You might want to look at a few reviews to see if the foundation does oxidize. Make sure that, you know, if you know that the foundation is going to oxidize, maybe take, you know, the foundation a step lighter and then maybe it will correctly match your skin tone throughout the day. Number 10 is a bronzer because, you know, it's hot, it's humid, it's time to grab those bronzers out and, you know, try to match the seasons just like, you know, playing with lighter colors, you might want to match your bronzer because, you know, everyone looks good bronzed up during the summer and, you know, in hot and humid weather. So those are my 10 tips to looking good in hot and humid weather and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any video requests for me to do while I'm in Singapore, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you and I'll see you guys later. Bye!